Good morning, as you can oh, see, Mark and I just woke up, or rather, you can really see Mark just woke up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Off the Park i I'm Mark. And I'm Kate. Look at this little cat that we have right here. <laughs> Are you a little cat? This room is a little cat. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Right, so here is our things that we got from yesterday. I love this set. This yes. is so cute. Yes. This is like by far the best set I have tried on. Mm -hmm. Like it's super comfortable. It fits really well. I love the color. But the other set that I got on Yes Style, the bottom seemed so much smaller than the top. Like it didn't make sense as a set, but this sizing is perfect. I'm obsessed with this. This is so cute. What I got are these pants. Now, yeah, I don't know. I've never had these white style colored pants, but it's a bit too baggy. I know that's kind of like Asian boy style <laughs> thing. It's just not. Yeah, I don't know. Because you know. usually do like fitted at the ankles. Yeah. Like, and like, I it's do like, like the pretty, color. Yeah, the color is great. But yeah, I thought it would be more fitted. It's yeah. more of a K-pop kind of guy, like police pants. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe if you yeah. try wearing it with a tighter shirt. But either way. It's just, mm. just not my vibe. If you watch the videos that we've had. Mm. Mm, yeah, this is more of my vibe, the black pants, but that's not what I got from yesterday. I did get these white <laughs> slip-on shoes. They're great, so yeah, easy. Yeah, those look really sharp. Those and they, nice. they look sharp, so it's easy to put on and then brushing. I just got this basic tank top to like layer under cardigans and sweaters for the fall. It's a bit more like square neck than I hoped it was going to be. I was thinking it was going to be more scoop. I feel like the scoop necks look better on me. But it's not bad. I still like it. It still works. That was a good price. It's thick, which is nice. I also got it in white. I think I like it better in white, actually. Even though I also need a black layer. It's cute. I like this one better. This is more like the neckline that I was imagining. And I need a lot of layers. So I'm happy I got multiple. It's shorter than I thought it was gonna be, but like I'm not really planning on wearing it on its own. I'm planning on wearing it underneath lower cut sweaters or shirts as like a base layer. So it works, I like it. I also got this pearl choker. I've really been wanting something just like simple, classy, matches everything. And I think this was like $2. This is definitely a win. Yeah, so is this other necklace that I got. It's definitely a win too. I didn't even put these on because they're so hard to unclasp and they're kind of like tarnished at the bottom. I don't know if you can see on camera. Plus, they're thicker than they looked online. I feel like this is too thick for me. I think I look better with like a thinner hoop. Definitely gonna return these. But I also like this uh, bracelet that I got. It's like a, these little uh, crosses on it. It's pretty cool. Like maybe it could be like a worship leader <laughs> bracelet. And guys, okay, I know the stigma out there is don't care for your skin, but we really should be caring for our skin, especially from that sun damage. And this is what I'm getting, purity essence. Oh, I like it. It's not really thick. It smells really good. It smells like menthol. I can't see it on your face as it's going. Yeah, it's lightweight, nice. which is great. I had this other sunscreen and it would just leave my face kind of pasty, but not this one. Make sure you're caring for your face. Yeah, in the fall and winter too, we still need yeah. sunscreen. Yep. We're on our way to a fall fun day where we're about to do some apple picking. You're cute! And do a cord maze and maybe see like a little like fall market area and they have like food stands so yeah we're gonna go and enjoy some fall romans is coming to romans so it's hard just to keep track of who we have <laughs> no don't throw it
get a donut? You want a donut? Oh, ho, ho. There we go. This pumpkin compared to Roman's, that's funny. I feel like it's way bigger than him, but it's hard to see when he's, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. in for the night now. Hey, oh, look at my hair. <laughs> yeah, the hat Oh hair. my goodness. But yeah, I'm just going to make some mold wine. So it got pretty cold out there in the corn maze, so we're going to heat up with my favorite little Cabernet and apple cider mixture here. And we have our cinnamon sticks and star anise and some cloves but as you can see I'm also just kind of estimating and then the zest and orange and then squeeze the orange juice in and let it simmer that is it it is like the absolute most delicious all glass of Mm -hmm. So the other day I was talking to my best friend on the phone. She just moved to Chicago and started going to a new church. And she told me that they did an exercise at this church that was like write a letter to your past, current, and future self. Which I thought was interesting because I've done the like, yeah, write a letter to your future self before at least like reflecting on what I would tell my past self. But I have never thought about having some kind of intentional communication with my current self. I was like, I think that would be really good, so I'm going to do that. And a lot of it was just remember that God gave you this dream life right now and don't dream about the future too much. Because I'm like such a future-oriented person, which can be a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. Right now I feel like... What I wanted to tell myself is be in the moment when I'm thinking about like how amazing our marriage is and about all my friendships, the lives of people that God is using me in. When I'm thinking about those things, just like let my mind wander there during my free time or like during the quiet moment. Don't let my mind wander to the future because what's going on in life right now is so amazing. Don't think about buying a house in the future. Think about how much I love the location of where our apartment is and the dog park and all the places that we can walk to so easily. And there's a Bible verse, it's James 5.13, that says, If you are happy, you should sing praises. That's what I should do. I should sing praises to God. And that's like what this season is. It's just a really mountaintop high season of life. And I just want to be in the moment and be grateful to God for it. That was good stuff to let God bring up what he wanted me to reflect on and for me to just like be self-aware and be like what do I want to communicate with myself right now speaking of our marriage being so wonderful mm -hmm. I was gonna let him read it so that yeah we can also be mm -hmm. in this together thinking I about these it. things I love to read it Kate I loved reading this one mm -hmm. it was just so heartwarming to see you just connect with God and just be really kind to yourself and encouraging yourself. Like, this is wonderful. I'm glad I read this. I love you. We're posing in here. Mold wine is all done. And we're about to watch some Star Wars because that's Shushu's favorite and he's showing it to me. We are back at the Park of Roses, which is where we got <laughs> married, doing some reminiscing, having a yes. little date.
this is the same spot where we got married. 